Well guys, we got the two main rails done today for the M1083A1 seven ton trailer build we're working on here. Now I pulled up the PDF for these axles and they said uh, that there's two ways to mount it. So from the inside, like you see here, and from the bottom. You can use either or, but since I had the steel available and the hardware laying around, I figured what the heck, let's just mount them on the bottom and vertical. I thought it would just be much better that way. Um, something really cool about using triple axles is that the, it makes the alignment that much easier. You saw in the beginning there where I had the... Um, frame rails um, vice grip together and then I laid out all the drill marks and then I drilled all of all of them and then mounted them onto the axles you don't have to do any thinking or any measuring or anything after that because you already did it when you drilled all your holes and you did your layout there's there's no way for the axles to be misaligned unless one of them is actually bent or something like that as long as your frame rails are straight and true and your axles are straight and true, it should go together no problem. I did uh, cross hatch measurements between axles and everything lines up the way it's supposed to. Uh, the spacing is correct per my drawing. I've been going off the drawing here uh, that I did out in the middle of nowhere. Just a thought that came to my head. Uh, the only thing that's different is the frame rails are a little bit shorter than I expected. I think they're like 12 foot five or 12 foot four and a half, which isn't a big deal. We're still going to be able to um, mount everything the way it's supposed to be and run the cross members and uh, so far everything is lining up like it's supposed to. Um, we've got 31 and a half inches. Where is it? Well it's 31 and a half inches between axle or center to center. Because it's three inch tire spacing, 28.5 tire diameter, which actually is 28. I measured them today, they're actually 28, which isn't a big difference, but whatever. So, from this point on, um, probably tomorrow, it's not hard to figure out what's going to happen. This is such a simple build. But I've got two more uh, U channels left, and we're going to turn those into cross members, along with some of the uh, three inch rec tube that I have and a tongue so I don't know how far I'll get tomorrow I was surprised I got this far today but this was so simple that uh, the only difficult part was just moving the beams around moving the u-channel around they're a little bit heavy I want to say they're probably 180 pounds each 150 180 right between there but uh, these axles have been sitting for a long time, so they got crusty stuff inside the brakes, which will go away, but you can see it just barely push it, and uh, it just wants to keep rolling. So that's also another sign that the uh, alignment is good. It's so easy to move right now, but you can hear all the crusty stuff in there from the brakes from sitting so long. I'll probably have to take those off and uh, re-grease the bearings and stuff like that before I actually put it on the road. But um, yeah, it's coming together. I'm excited. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, build series. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And um, I hope you guys are taking care of each other and staying safe. But other than that, I will catch you on tomorrow's episode. Take care, guys. I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.